Afternoon all, Simon here again. Just wanted to show you this uh, little immobilised rock that we've done with the Discovery 2B8 Thor ECU because it's one of the first ones we did actually but uh, we never got around to literally showcasing it, it's just been plodding along in the background. Now the eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed we have a little emulator there and of course there's all the labels off the Thor ECU that you can go and check and you can make sure it's a D2 4 to V8, which it actually is. And of course we have our trusty Nanocom there. Little footnote, people think that the D2 V8 Thor and the P38 Thor are identical. They're not. They're not even close. There's a lot of differences in software and in fact in hardware. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the usual software, scan for codes, etc, etc. Now I've actually um, intentionally put a fault code on for the immobilizer um, by disconnecting the little emulator and then firing the ECU up. So we'll see that and then we'll clear it and the code will go away. We'll switch the ECU off, switch it back on and you'll see that the fault code doesn't come back. Best proof you can do really. Okay, so power supply on. 364, 365 milliamps, that's good. And let's go to our trusty Nanocom into the Motronic unit. Motronic again. And into faults. Loading, please wait. Okay, we've got a CAN timer interface because we have, don't have the gearbox. And of course, there we go, you can see that. The anti-theft serial link fault drive cycle A occurred twice. Fault is not currently present. So that means that the ECU is actually happy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clear the faults. I'm going to come back to there, clear. All faults cleared. It leaves the last one up for some reason, that's a little foible of the nanocom. And then we're going to climb out of there. And of course we're going to show you the ECU powering down. Give it a moment. And there she goes back to our 136 milliamps which the nanocom is taking. And we power back up. And we go back into faults. And there's our CAN timer, which is our gearbox fault. No other faults logged. Then and there. So yeah, so this one's ready to go. Thank you. Goodbye.